So I just want to make a quick video on the quad projector uh, headlight harness that I make. Uh, this one is, it's a, basically it's a resistor free harness. It does require alpha OBD programming. It's going to add all the missing factory wiring that your quad headlight harness doesn't have. Uh, so in order to do that, I have this larger harness here that's going to run three additional wires to each headlight location uh, that your harness doesn't have. And that's basically the high beam headlamp relay control, uh, the DRL lamp driver, and the front light fault sense wire. So there's three for each headlight. So you have six connectors here. And basically what you're going to do is those connect to under your fuse block. So what I do is I just disconnect the negative battery under your fuse box there's also a wire that connects here i disconnect that to just you can see it here just to give me a little bit more more mobility with the fuse box so the fuse box has four tabs here there's another one here right there and right there basically if you push these push those in all four you can pull the fuse box right up out of the way so it can move the whole fuse box so the connector i'm referring to is this is half of it's right here the other half is right there um basically it's there's a push pin it sits down below in the fuse box here and it kind of push pins to the side of the fuse box you can see the holes where the push pins come out so i basically just pulled that off and i disconnected it and you're gonna have on one side of the harness you'll already have the wiring However, the side of the harness that actually where the wiring is going to run to your headlights, you're not going to have it. So what you need to do is unlock this connector to pin the six wires in my harness. And in order to do that, once it's separated, you got the front half here. There's going to be this little locking connector is going to be right in the front of it. So you're going to have to pry up on it and to pop it out. And basically I use like a little pick tool um it'll pop right off and once that's off you're then able to pin the wiring so on the back side you'll look at the connector and it's actually labeled if you look down the sides so i don't know if you can see right here is one it looks like right below it is eight 17 and 26 so that can start the that will show you how to how to count them so you can see one you got one two three the green is four, then you get five, six, and seven, and it's labeled seven on the end there. You can see 16 below that. The, the ones that are not populated are gonna have a little plug in them right there. You can see the plug. Again, you have to like use some pliers or something, just pull those out. And my harness is labeled. So each one is gonna be labeled with what, what position it needs to pin into. Okay, so you're gonna pin each one into the correct position here. Uh, they only go in a certain way and you'll hear it click when they go in. So if you're inserting it and it's, as long as you have this unlocked, if you're inserting it and it's not working, just flip it and insert it. And it should click to let you know that it's in. So you're gonna insert all six, you're gonna put this all back together, close it up. Um, the harness, there's a short, there's a short, short run and a long run obviously the short run is going to go to your driver's side the long run is going to go to your passenger side so you're basically just going to run the harness as best you can obviously when you're swapping the headlights typically you remove the grill this will all be gone so you're going to run one connector into the headlight location you're going to run the other one across into the headlight location here so with those connectors, these should match up perfectly uh, with the individual headlight harnesses, right? So this one here, you'll see the wire coloring is gonna match up too. These two will connect together. So if I can get this with one hand, let's try it this way. So you'll see there, those will connect together and you can tell because you'll see 
green to green, blue to blue, brown to brown, the wire color. This, this connector is the only one I don't have labeled. So you can see this one's labeled, this one's labeled. Same with the second harness, that this one's labeled, this one's labeled, this one is not labeled. The ones that are not labeled are what is gonna to attach to this main harness. The other two are labeled because these are gonna to attach to your factory quad connectors. So this is the high-low, high-low beam, and then you have your park and turn lamps, and that's the same on both harnesses. So basically, once you run the main one, you pop out your old lights, you're gonna have the two factory connectors. So the two factory connectors, you're gonna connect to my harness here, that they're labeled, so you make sure you connect them correctly. The third one is gonna connect to the one you ran from my other harness, and then this large connector is what's gonna to connect to your projector. And that's basically it for, as far as installation. Uh, then there's nine settings in Alpha OBD uh, that you need to change in order to tell the truck that it's now running factory projectors versus factory quad headlights. Uh, and I can give you a list of those nine settings as well.